Here we have the first working prototype of my 42 inch Ryobi powered RC lawnmower. Given the look of these wheels, I'm considering calling it Mad Max Fury Mode. The tires are puncture proof tires for the wheelbarrows and things like that. I took out the center bearing and made a 3D printed insert drive shaft to attach it to the wheelchair motors you can see here. Next thing you'll notice is a pair of power converters to bring the 40 volt power from the Ryobi batteries down to the 12 volt that's needed for the wheelchairs and the RC controller. I used a 10 inch flat free caster wheel on the back to make it so that it can swivel easily for ZTR functionality. The battery holders are actually old battery chargers that went bad. I took the guts out of them, connected the wires direct, so now it's a uh, battery power pack rather than a charger and that power runs direct to the power converter to bring it down to the 12 volts needed for the rest of the system. From there it goes to a, a pair of Radio Link RC um, brushed controllers with a 90 amp power capacity and then from there one of them feeds the power to the radio link receiver that you can see which is amazingly tiny I've not worked with RC car things before so this is my first attempt at any of this the inputs and outputs are straightforward on the power converters here and these are a 45 amp power converter here you can see the radio link controller that I have which I've got it set up so you're only using the left stick on this and then I'll have a switch later to turn the mower blades on and off when I install them let's go ahead and turn this thing on and I'll demonstrate how it all works Clearly, I need to learn how to drive. I was having extreme traction problems in my early prototypes, that's why I added the nails that give you that Mad Max effect there. Uh, and also, I had to glue the tires to the rims because these were not made for being a drive wheel, they were for a wheelbarrow or a cart, so they weren't made to turn traction, so the rim would actually slip on the tire. It did take a little while to figure out how to set up the controller, especially to do the settings where it runs on a single control stick, but I like that setup a lot better. It's easier than trying to use two sticks to drive the two separate wheels, so I'm glad I did that overall. I also set the speed a little slower. The machine could go faster than it's going right now, but I'd rather have the control, and frankly I'm not very good with the controller yet, so I'd rather have it run a little slow. Overall, this seems to be a success. Uh, I'm sure it'll go through several iterations before I'm entirely done. It should be a lot easier to get around my trees because it's so short. It should also be a lot easier to service because everything's right there on the top. So I think it'll be better in the overall scheme of things, but I do have to add the mower blades and that will show up in a future video along with I've got a switching mechanism that I created to make it so I could turn it, the blades on and off remotely and it will get a first-person view camera.